Hello and welcome to Tharic Place Slay the Spire, and let's start up a new run, shall we? And I think I want to start with the Ironclad today. We are lower in Ascension on the Silence still, but I do still enjoy the Ironclad a little bit more. So I'm gonna, since it's been a bit, I'm gonna jump back in there with just him. Um... Sure, let's go with that. We get the Juzu bracelet. Interesting, but also potentially dangerous, of course. So we want a good mix of things in that case. Yeah, okay, we start here and then go through the middle for now and see what's gonna uh, happen there. So let's see if I'm still incompetent at the game or if it's gonna, or if there is an improvement uh, noticeable or not. Obviously, we do have to accept some sort of damage here uh, against him. We can't just completely uh, go through there. Oh, I missed lethal there. Could have bashed and struck. No, that wouldn't have killed him. Okay, we're good. We're good. I'm, I'll, I'll take it back. But yeah, now we got him. There we go. So we went for a lot of attacks in a row. Usually he buffs himself a little bit earlier. Um, which is what I was hoping for. But we'll we'll see. Yeah, we gain gold. We lose HP. So we already have reason to go for a shop. We already have 190 gold. And that's only going to increase. Um, let's see. He's got 19. So him we can't kill. The other one we can though. But we are. Which means we still take 7 damage. But it's still better than the alternative. Overall, and now we can just play this a little bit slower, get rid of the curl up first, not take damage, kill him next turn. There go. Dex potion, lovely. Um, I'm going to pick up several soul. I've learned by now that it's what it can do, and that it's maybe a little bit better than I gave it credit for. Ah, boo. A boo, a boo, a boo. Let's... Let's do that. We take one damage, we bring him down to one HP. Really? Well, yeah, I guess we still have to block here. That's a bummer. Actually, wow, okay, that's pretty horrible. Um, deal 16 damage. 16 plus 6 is 22. It's not enough. So we put several soul back for next turn. We defend once, strike him twice, and then where we can kill him next turn. There we go. And we take a clash. Yes, please. There we go. Ooh, do we? Yeah, we do. Here we get the blue candle. Could work, possibly. If we want to, we would like to smith. Flash for 18, several soul for 20. Bash plus is still pretty good, I guess. Well, it makes it better, at least. But now I'm gonna go with Clash. We want the extra damage out of that. And once we get to the next campfire, we need to decide on how to move on there. Pretty much, okay. Ooh. 18. Yeah, no. One. So that's 12. It's 30 damage that I can deal. So I could kill one of them. Which is probably still better than the alternative. He is gonna deal more damage, but we still take three less damage than we otherwise would. Um, at least technically. And with this we can kill him, so there we go. Good. Uh, offering please, yes. Okay, good. And what do we upgrade now? Several soul for 20? Offering for five cards? I think we go with offering. The additional card draw here is just important. I'd really like a shop. But that would be a lot of fights if we go 
this way we get two additional campfires, which would be awesome. And I do have to fight an elite wherever I go, so I think we're gonna stick with the campfires. Pantograph is perfect, um, considering we don't really want to heal, but we need to heal in some areas, it's just really good. Okay, we throw out the defend, and then... Just sever soul on him. Just kill him. There we go. That way we only take five. We do have to go for the Gremlin Wizard next, though, if at all possible. I'm going to accept the damage, uh, the 10, just to bring him down further. We could have taken no damage here, but he just deals too much damage. We need to kill him. Uh, I don't really have a choice in the matter. Oh, boy. Well... That's a thing, I guess. I use all three defense, which allows me to clash and strike, kill him. So we don't take damage and he's gonna die next turn, ideally. Sever soul, clash. There we go. And we skip these. In terms of upgrades, I think we want to rest because we are right in front of an elite. Might be okay. Okay, it's the Lagavu then. Um, I'm just gonna skip the turn here. There we go. That's better. Uh, to put on top of our draw pile. It doesn't really matter. We're gonna draw it right away anyways. So there we go. We bash. I kind of hate this, but I also kind of really like this. Because I exhausted a lot of my defense now, but we deal so much damage to him with this. He's down to 49 HP out of the first turn. Let's block 5 for that. The vulner Maybe I should have made use of that more, but we're fine, I think. Uh... Yeah, Sevo Soul Clash. There we go. Shuriken. Sure, that's perfect. And we'll take a seeing red card for the energy gain. Next campfire. What do we upgrade? Draw two cards. Could be good. Seeing red for free would be nice, of course. But I'm gonna go with Bash now. Make it a little bit better. A bit more playable overall. I think that's where we need to be at right now. So I'm not sure if I want to play Offering here. Well, we do, because otherwise we can't clash at all. Most likely we can't clash anyways, but we'll we'll see. So I can put one card back on the top of my deck. Uh, which means we'll take Seeing Red here. No, we actually put back a Defend. Because right now we want to see if we can kill all of them. Which means we we should be able to. We sever soul this one. Which gets rid... Oh, I should have played the extra energy first. Well, that's bad. We're still gonna be fine, luckily. Uh, so it's not the end of the world, but that was technically a misplay. <laughs> not one that cost us anything, but it could have been real, real bad. Roll for cards... I'm gonna make, yeah, I think a card draw, like that, and we get the Guardian. Oh wow, okay, that's kinda, kinda bad. Well, maybe. There we go. So, we got one additional strength. We got him down to 198 already. Walk cry. we put the defend back. Sure. Uh, we do need to battle trance, obviously. So now the question is, do we sever soul? We do not. We bash to make him vulnerable for longer, but that also means I can't clash. 
since I do have defense in my uh, deck still, or in my hand still, but I'm just gonna take a little bit less damage here. Not in my deck, in my hand, I should say. There we go, that's better. And yeah, we take damage, we also gain strength. We do have to live with the fact that we do not... Uh, that we do not regenerate all of our HP here, which is a problem. But let's see, do we... Kinda hate this. Right now. Trying to figure out what the best approach is, because we do want the bash again for the vulnerability for next turn, but that means we can't play Sever Soul right now. Yeah, we reset this. And then I'm gonna defend once, take a little bit less damage. Not sure if that's the right call though, honestly, right now. There we go, we gain more strength. Gonna buff himself, of course. Uh, battle trans, please. Well, yeah, we can possibly kill him. No, not quite. Okay, still fine. Well, our HP is really bad and we're not going to regenerate all of it. Uh, so none of this is really good, but we'll see. I'm not sure how much we get back. Oh, well, not at all, apparently. Uh, uh, well... I'm taking a second offering. So we go in with 18 HP into this, which is just horrible. But we'll see. This could kill our clash a little bit, but with Sever Soul, we can also exhaust it, and I do need the extra energy to play it. Oh no, we go back up to 65. Okay, that's not as bad. So. How do we do this? I think I'm going to start here and take these events. Although we might want to do these three fights first. Uh, take the campfire here, go for the shop. And then we can possibly go for another shop back there. Yeah, sure. It's going to be a bit of a rougher start because of all the fights. But it should work out somewhat. Uh... Well, not really going to matter that much, basically, since we draw everything anyways. Oh no, I should have put the battle trans back so that I can play the offering to draw additional cards. Whoops. Um, so that was dumb, actually. But oh well, it's too late now. He's buffing himself, so he needs to go down first, I think. Although, this is where I'm not quite sure right now. How many attacks do I get? Uh, three, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, okay, so we play the offering card, we play defend. Just one for now, I think. Okay, so he's just gonna get knocked down via strikes. Next, we bash him. We can play this defend, we can sever soul, and then we can clash him, kill him. There we go. Which means we can kill him next, and then we can go for him. Well, apparently we can't quite get the kill. Well, yeah, we can. So we do this. One, two. Hit him once. There we go. There's just one left. Which should be pretty doable overall. This will deal nine damage. It's good enough. Okay, there we go. Ancient Potion. We gain one artifact. Work with that. We do not want another Battle Trance. We skip those. Yeah, I like that better. 
That is a lot of damage, guys. And this is also a horrible turn in terms of card draw. So one, two, three. Strike, strike, strike. Unfortunately, we cannot use Clash since I've got the wound cards. We would have needed to not draw these or exhaust them in some way, which we obviously didn't and couldn't. But ah well, uh, we'd like to put... It doesn't matter, we're gonna play this anyways. Defend the offering, take the damage. That means... No, I'm still... I'm gonna go into this one because he's got so much more HP. And we can kill him now, and then it's only this one left. And we... he's weakened anyway, so we take less damage there. We do need to get the kill now, though. But we can. That's not gonna be an issue. There we go. We get an energy potion. I do want to pick up an armaments plus, I think. Uh, it's still among my favorite cards overall. On the ironclad. Maybe I'm putting a bit too much into that still, but overall, I do like it. I need to be careful with how liberally I use my offering cards, though. Here as well. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm just gonna do that right now. We do all this, we play Offering, All Cry, Sure. There we go, we get the Sever Soul, that's beautiful. So I'm gonna defend one more time so that we don't take damage, we Sever Soul, get rid of the other cards there, and hit him again. So we don't take damage. And he's halfway dead already. We will draw Clash now. And I'm gonna be able to play it as well. Should I have bashed? He's gonna die anyways next turn. And we don't take damage, so we don't have to really care. There we go. Really good fight there. I like that one a lot. Yeah, Rampage should be useful here, since we do ex can exhaust our deck and make it smaller. Uh, getting that seems reasonable. I'm just doing that because we can play the curse right away, which means we remove the limitation instantly. We lose one HP, yes, but ah well. Dreamcatcher, not that good though. Just to give myself some options here. Um, let's go with those. Campfire, what do we upgrade? Rampage could be good. But I think we want the Sever Soul upgrade for the increased damage here. Do we go Elite though? That's the question. On this. The Sundial could be... Very good for us. I think we do want Clash. We also want to remove a card. We could just remove the Curse and be done with it that way. We don't really gain much out of this because we will lose HP if we do that. So I'd much rather remove the Curse than a Defend, I guess. No, ultimately we can play this for free, but we can remove a Defend instead of Exhausting. So we buy Clash again. We probably could also use Panache on this. Yeah, we buy the medical kit. And then... What else? Nothing, maybe? Happy Flower is fine, but not good enough. Another Warcry would give us card draw for free, technically. Yeah, sure. That's fine. Okay, and now I have to decide where I want to go. We would get an extra campfire here, but it's an elite that we would have to fight. In the way left, we could avoid most fighting. We would get an elite as well. There's only one path that would get us past an elite. I don't think we want to. We go, we go left, I think. We get a relic. Sure. Prayer wheel. Not that good, unfortunately. I think. Bag of preparation is fine. And... 
I'm gonna pick up the bludgeon. Not sure about that one, but it could be very useful. See, this is interesting. This is really interesting right now. We wall cry. Get the armaments card. So we put uh, several soul back for now. Doesn't really matter. We play armaments plus. We play wall cry plus. Uh, we put the wound card back. No, we put offering back right now. I think I'm actually going to play the turn like this. That way I can play offering next turn. So now... Oh, I needed to start with normality. Okay, I'm dumb. I didn't think they would actually ha- I didn't think about that when I thought, hey, I can just exhaust it. Not thinking about it further, which is obviously a horrible thing to do. So that was stupid. Pretty much, uh, and that will cost us. Overall, I believe. And for free, and for free. At least I am dealing a really good amount of damage and we're not taking damage. Well, I took the offering, basically, which is the problem there. But we still get the, the quick Sneko kill there, so overall, not the end of the world. But I misplayed the first turn quite significantly. Okay. Do we... I don't think we want to shop with this, so we go this way and fight the elite there. We decline because we can't get jaxed. Oh boy. So this is gonna be interesting. Let's see, we walk cry first. The offering card, so let's put... Uh, battle trance back. Doesn't matter, we're gonna play offering instantly anyways. Bash. Have our soul. Once again, a misplay. I'm making dumb misplays right now that I really shouldn't make. Uh, unfortunately. Because I needed to play the other cards first. I'm not quite sure what's going on. I'm just... Making dumb moves. At least we got a kill instantly, so our damage is really good. But right now, I'm just... I'm making other mistakes that I really can't afford to make. Unfortunately, so... I need to get out of that. Uh, what do we put back? Probably... That one. And we... And not play anymore because normality blocks us. Okay, I see. So we take more damage again. Damage-wise, we're not looking good. But, or no, damage wise health-wise. But we do have the Pantograph, which will help. Ultimately, and if we don't screw this up, or if we don't get extremely unlucky, we are going to be fine. But I think, yeah, we cannot play the Clashes because of the wounds. Oh, no, we can play those. That's why I got the Medical Kit. I remember now. Uh, yeah, I'll play this. So now we can kill him. There we go. Okay, we're actually somewhat fine. So we took way more damage. I know why I took the cards that I took, but I just... I'm then afterwards kind of blanking on the fact. So I need to just remember that I can, can play these without repercussions. Get the kunai as well. It's cool. Uh, yes, we'd like to remove a card from our deck. I think I'm going to get rid of Normality again, just because it's super annoying. We can technically play it, but I don't really want to. Wait, what boss do we get? That's the Bronze Automaton. Do I want to upgrade something? I think I'd rather rest with the Pantograph. We can... Uh, we will go up to almost full HP. So 80 out of 86. And now hopefully we'll be fine. Let's get rid of that. Just play it. Okay, we can't really make him vulnerable, unfortunately. 
but we can get a really nice first turn against him still. I think if we play our cards right, quite literally here. Yeah, I still go in for a bludgeon. Three. This one we can just play. Three, six, eight, so we can... Yeah, we need to play one strike. Then we battle trance. Play the wound card, war cry. Oh yeah, I get to put a card back on top of my deck, so... Defend, please, in that case. So now we Rampage, Sever Soul, and hit him with a double clash. That's a pretty good turn. You know what? Do this and this, just to give myself another upgrade. So we've got uh, plus three strength, strength and defense already, or dexterity on this. Which is really, really useful right now. We might just be able to nuke him, technically. But I think we still want to uh, go for one of these guys. Pretty much we are building up our attack and defense quite a bit more. And the cards that they store aren't that bad. But still. Hey Rarator, how are you? Uh, we can play all of this, I think. So I'm going to hit him with that just to get rid of his artifact again as much as possible. Dead. Gives us another upgrade. Let's play the War Cry. We put the Defend card back on top so that I can still play my Clash. And then we do this as well. There we go. So. That kind of worked. Rampage does not deal enough damage right now. Unfortunately, which means we are going to sever soul him. Use the armaments card to upgrade and then we just hit him with that just to have it play. There we go. Ah, oh, you're going to bed in a few minutes. Um, well, it's my first run of the evening, Rarator, so I can't really say anything about this yet. Uh, the one we're currently on is going pretty well, I think, overall. So I'm happy to have gone back into the game. I played a little bit of 20XX uh, in a while ago, in case you do know that game. Uh, I really like that game. It's It's been a while since I've played it, so I just wanted to, to play it again. Uh, because there was a DLC character that I didn't know about yet, and I, I tried him out a little bit. So how do we play this the best way right now? We probably do not use Sever Soul. Instead we Armaments, Bludgeon, and just go in with two Clashes. Yeah, since he's not dealing damage there anyways. And hey Catherine, yeah I've, I've missed this game as well. Uh, it's a lot of fun. And I'm happy to be back. I, I just... It took a while. And I got stuck in playing Monster Hunter World. It was between streaming this and Slay the Spire today. But I in, ultimately today decided in favor of um, Slay the Spire today. I'm also gonna die if I cannot kill him right now. Which is horrible. So he's got 73. Yeah, I think I'm dead. Seriously. <laughs> Hooray! God damn it. That's the issue with exhausting all your defense. You don't have them when you need them. I mean, I did have... Technically... Uh, technically, I did have... An Iron Wave to get the defense. Or to get some defense, but seriously... That was so bad. That was so bad. Um, God damn it, that run was so strong. And then we were just a teensy bit off there. And also, it's just... Uh, I should have ignored the small ones and just focused on him. That would have made things better, I think. Uh, but, ah, uh, well, what can you do? So... Which one do we go for here? Oh...
Remove a card. Remove two cards. I mean, technically, removing two cards would be cool. Also, like the max HP, though. We're going with card removal, though. Let's remove a strike and just... There we go. Nah. I'm not gonna go with the starting relic on Ascension. That's not gonna happen. And I actually do like the starting relic of the Silent too much. Or that the additional card draw on first turn is really nice. We draw a second strike there, unfortunately. So we miss out on some damage here. But at least we get all the strikes we want right there, so that's a plus. If we draw three strikes again, we can kill him. Don't go, so we do this. Well, that doesn't help. Come on. Really? I mean, I need to do this right now. We're gonna draw strikes now. And we just don't wanna take the damage. So all in all, it's not an issue. It just took us a moment. Ooh. None of this is really good. Crippling poison is just bad. Auto attack is okay-ish. Especially early on. But I don't know. I guess I'm gonna take the poison stab. It's the best out of a worse it bad situation, maybe. We'll see how that's gonna play out, basically. So far, so good, I'd say. All in all, he goes down to seven. Means, yeah, we can. This is gonna be dead. For, at least in the early game, the poison is obviously not bad. Later on, it will fall off a little bit. Ooh, tactician could awesome. It would be a big chance pickup, though. Flying knee would be more consistent, but I think I'm gonna risk it. We go tactician here. And what could we pick up? Blood Vial could be awesome. War Paint is okay. Uh, Blade Dance would go against what we have planned for right now. I kind of just want to remove a card. But I think the Blood Vial might be for the best. For one, it allows us to heal. Also, if we run into the Vampire event, we would get Bites, which would be good. Yeah, I, that's what I was considering uh, taking the all-out attack as well, Raritor, but I just... I'm not happy enough about it. I think we don't go for the relic. Might be a mistake, but we'll see. We'll see. Overall. Upgrade your random cards. Sure, the tactician right now is completely useless. In that regard. But what can you do? Now we also get this. Yeah, this has got to be fine. Fifteen damage. So, the good thing is we can actually do this. We can discard this and gain the energy. Which is pretty good. So it's not completely useless right now. It's just much more difficult to enable than I want it to be. But technically, we can still get some value out of it. Pretty much. But yeah, this turn, obviously, two wasted energy there. Unfortunately. Survivor, the tactician card again. Works out more than I thought it would. <laughs> technically. And we nice. Wow, okay, now I, well, if I've got no defense, I've got no defense. We do have a block potion, though, which I think we really want to take here. Ah, oh, come on, really? Why do I get this bad card draw when I really cannot afford to get it? So we are not going to be able to kill him here. So we take 15 damage that we really should have been able to avoid if the RNG had been just the teensiest bit kinder to me. Ah, I hate 
this, but what can you do? That also means we need to rest. And I think we'll just go left, go for the next campfire. And upgrade here now, but what do we go for? I guess I'm playing the long game here. We just need to get the right cards, which right now we obviously don't have. So all of this is not really going anywhere right now. Uh, unfortunately, but we'll we'll see how it plays out. So this would be eight. So you're dead, which means we can weaken him instead. There we go. With the bag of preparation, we do have a lot of cards to draw right now, which is pretty awesome. And I'm just setting up for a potential discard synergy. We've got a lot of energy that we can gain, get, generate uh, with this already, if we play our cards right. And we just have to be... Uh, we just have to see if we can make this work overall. Oh, we get a shop. Okay. None of this really works with what I want, though. Choke is fine, but we don't really have the setup for it. I'm just gonna remove another card and move on, I think. Blind could be okay, but nah. I don't think we're we're in a good position to make it past the first floor here with this run. But we'll see. We'll see. Um, I'm gonna poison him. Driver, get the tactician. I mean, it's not gonna do us any good, unfortunately, since we don't really have anything to play. Uh, now we do, though. Can we kill you? Get him close enough. There we go. So, Poison's gonna do it. I'd like to retain the de No! I'd like to retain the defend plus! Ah! That was not what was supposed to happen there. Do you hear me? Apparently not. Nope, I would not like to retain the wound. Thank you very much. And once again... Still waiting for the synergy to show to to work, but I am still going in there because by now I might as well. If it doesn't work, it's only gonna end in me losing the run, which is fine ultimately. It's annoying, but it would be fine. Uh, yeah, let's do this. So you're dead. Got all of these. So we outmaneuver and defend this turn. And we would like to retain the tank. No, the reflex. Because we already have... We will draw Survivor. And we already have 6 energy because of Outmaneuver Plus. So I do need more energy. I need more cards. Which is why reflex is more important here. Sure. There we go. Might at least give me the chance to maybe kill the Gremlin Wizard in time. Not right now, that is. Please give me an attack. Okay, thank you. Still not enough, unfortunately. So this is horrible. Well, I'm gonna have to throw out the poison potion in that case. So this deck is just horrible right now. I mean, it's working somewhat, but not really. At least not in the way that I wanted to. And... That's just annoying right now. So I'm not sure we are really going to be able to make this uh, into a working run. And I've been struggling with the Ascension on uh, this character anyways. Which doesn't help. But we'll see. We'll see. It's not over yet. We could still get the cards that we need to really make this work. But right now it's not really looking good. Right, thank you very much. 
So, next turn. You're dead, I believe. That's at least the general idea. Thank you for confirming. We would like to pick up a malaise. I need to rest here, otherwise we're just dead. I don't think we can do the boss with 42 HP, uh, 21 HP. So, Survivor the Tactician. We play out Maneuver. Uh, strike, strike. Sure. I also just want to drink this. Should have done that first, but I wasn't quite thinking. So we neutralize. I am going to go in with this one. But then we just go in with the malaise. We don't take any damage anyways. So the malaise might save us here, since, as we can see, he's now weak for seven turns. He's got minus five strength. He's not going to regain his strength here in time, I think. That's not going to happen. Um, but the burns could still cause us trouble, of course. And our damage is also just not the, 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 the best. We'll see, though. What's gonna happen? Yeah, and turns like these, obviously, do not really help our case. Although it was fine. Technically. Sure. Well. Here we go. I probably want to retain the Reflex card over the, the other one. Overall. And I'm here I'm going for damage. Well, no, we do have enough energy to do everything there. Uh, but 2 times 2 is not that much. Lies out and the defend. Play the tactician. We will retain it instead. As you do. Right, sure. Survivor the reflex in this case. Yeah. We we showed him. We sure did. We are going to get a lot of burn pluses into our deck now, though. It is burn pluses. Yeah, three to be exact. So that's an issue. We're just... We're slowly but surely chipping away at him. So I think we might actually be able to beat him. But... It's just taking forever because our damage is just non-existent, more or less. Against him. Right now, so... Not a lot of progress that we're making here, but we're getting there. At some point, it's gonna be enough, as long as we don't get too many burn cards in our deck, that is. I should say. And obviously, card draw like this doesn't help our case. Uh, we didn't have a defense, so we took damage out of the burns. And drawing more of them, obviously, is not in our best interest either. And then we get the defense. Ah, see, this is where I forget about the burns and that I have to just play one defend when I have the energy as well to not take that. I mean, technically, I do have the calipers, but I don't think I can build up enough this block here to uh, be okay there. And I still think we're going to die just looking at this because he's no longer got... Um... He's no longer got decreased strength. He's been able to regain that, unfortunately. Uh, doesn't matter. I think we're dead anyways. And we do get more burn plus cards in our deck now. So yay for that. Yeah, I need to go damage now and just hope that I can kill him next turn. Because I am at 1 HP. So as long as we can deal 22 damage to him, we technically can win this. But then we also get this turn, so I'm just dead. <clears throat> Thank you very much for watching this episode of Slay the Spire. I died, didn't I? Well, we're gonna do better next time. I hope you still enjoyed the episode. If you did, please leave a like and a comment. And if you want to see me play more Slay the Spire, just stick around. And as always, thanks for watching, and I hope that you will tune in next time. Bye, guys.